are NVIDIA GPU scalpers coming back? Well, there's something happening that may actually surprise you. First, have you seen the sales numbers for NVIDIA gaming GPUs? They're not that good. They say they're down as much as 46%. I mean, it's no surprise. Even yesterday, we reported how AMD has just reduced the price of the 7900 XT from $899 all the way down to $799. And of course, we've seen some discounts on NVIDIA GPUs as well. Even the RTX 4080, especially the more expensive models that are, are really priced up, you should keep an eye on them. Let's say if you were looking at a 4080, while we may not see a discount on like the Founders Edition, you may definitely see a discount on some of the GPUs that were like $1,300 or $1,400, and at least they're going to come down a little bit closer, not to reality because it's really far away, but at least a little bit more reasonable. So, as you can see, that's the story. NVIDIA and AMD aren't really selling that many GPUs. So why would GPU scalpers come back? After all, GPU scalpers were here when everybody wanted to buy a GPU during the last two years. You couldn't find one in stock anywhere, but now you can. You go to any store and they're gonna be expensive, but it's still MSRP. GPUs last generation were already expensive and you had to pay more if you wanted them and it wasn't in stock. Look at like the 3090. It's $1,499 MSRP, but if you wanted a Founders Edition, you were more likely to have to pay over $2,000 because it was very difficult to actually get one. That partly was because of everybody staying at home, gaming demand, the biggest factor in my opinion was the crypto mining demand so that's going to be what's sort of happening here we don't have crypto miners anymore because ethereum is no longer proof of work it's now proof of stake and really nothing has taken its place as something that's really profitable and has really interested crypto miners to buy gpus like they were before and now let's hear a word from our sponsor vip-cdkdeals.com a windows 10 pro cd key add to cart you put in code cc20 this will also work on windows 11 you want to go into your settings and windows change and adjust your cd key click activate and now let's go back to the video the gamer market is a little bit lukewarm right now i think nvidia sort of overestimated the demand that they would have anyway as did amd and even intel so we don't have the cryptocurrency miners driving the scalper market what is entering the fray however AI. Chat GPT, there's been a report recently that they may need more than 30,000 NVIDIA GPUs. So here we have something else that could perhaps be very profitable, just like cryptocurrency mining was. It's going to divert NVIDIA's attention away from the gaming market towards the AI market. So while, okay, you're not going to be in competition with somebody trying to buy a GPU for AI, sometimes you may be. I mean, a lot of people use like 4090s for machine learning, while maybe chat GPT officially, they're going to have like A6000s or whatever else NVIDIA workstation GPU use or the a100 they're going to have other workstation gpus but if they're going to have that and nvidia is not going to be able to sell to places like in china or something like that they're going to have to focus a lot of their manufacturing grunt and power and all of their resources into where it's more profitable and therefore it's going to take attention away from the gaming gpus meaning less on the market and the scalpers if this chat gpt thing imagine if it becomes something like cryptocurrency mining where people can actually do it at home what if different ai companies come into the fray and they need a lot of gpu power like cloud computing what if all of a sudden your 4090 your 4080 whatever it is all of a sudden maybe you can use it in a cloud computing way to help with ai meaning that it's going to be valuable just like cryptocurrency mining so you see similar idea here with crypto mining you're basically mining a certain coin to get the money here you'd be kind of providing a service with like chat gpt or, or maybe something else that comes within the next year or two because you know if people have a lot of attention on something big like chat gpt then of course they're going to have their own resources and servers imagine all of the other little companies that will pop up that may
one more thing changes in the gaming market that makes them a little bit more desirable, all you need is something very small. And all of a sudden, we're going to have that same situation with crypto mining again. And this time, it could be even worse because we're just at the very beginning of this AI craze and it could start to ramp up. So not only will that one company be taking probably more than 30,000 GPUs and who knows exactly how many, while it's not gaming GPUs, it's going to be sort of putting the attention away into something more profitable for NVIDIA, therefore leaving gamers a lot more vulnerable because the market is not going to be cared for as much, meaning NVIDIA can leave GPUs on the shelves at high prices for gamers because they're selling them to other people like with AI where it's considerably more profitable. And then if this somehow kind of breaks out into like a more of a mass market thing, like I mentioned, if you can do AI from cloud computing at home, imagine the demand if you can get paid for it or the resources are actually really, really applicable in a very real world way people are going to want to chase down these GPUs and GPU scalpers have a very good chance of actually coming back. And the gaming market is going to take another really big hit. I'm not sure if you can survive it nearly that much right now. It's still going, but people, you know, you guys see the GPU prices. Nobody's really happy about them. And even the companies aren't really selling them. So they do have to shift their focus into something that's more profitable, unfortunately, but that means that with a very tight and niche market, you can have stuff like scalpers come back and just make it really not that much fun for the rest of the people that stayed on. So while there's nothing happening exactly right now, it's really at the beginning of something. And we're seeing these market conditions change and with the gaming market becoming more difficult. So it's definitely something to keep an eye on because if it starts to open up, just like crypto mining wasn't that popular for a long time, and all of a sudden it became one of the most popular things ever, this is also something that can take people by surprise. So just something to keep an eye on. All right, guys. So remember to subscribe. Let me know what you think down below. Are the AI robots coming for your GPUs? Remember to subscribe and I'll see you guys on the next video.